Hi, this is Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's question is from Debbie, and she asked, can you please explain and simplify the cholesterol numbers and charts? And this is a good question because I think we should all know more about how our body works because honestly, nobody will care more about your health than you will. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you have is your total cholesterol numbers, which is the sum of all the cholesterol in your blood. And as you can see from the chart that your goal should be less than 200 milligrams uh, per deciliter. However, I'd like to point out that I personally believe that anything less than 150 milligrams per deciliter is too low. And yes, your cholesterol can be too low, and I think this is just as bad as too high, which is over 240 milligrams per deciliter. Now, what most people don't know or even understand is that your body needs cholesterol, and it's good for you, and it has many important functions, such as producing your sex hormones, uh, such as testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, DHEA, and similar youth hormones. It also helps utilize vitamin D and other fat-soluble vitamins, which helps your bones, your nerves, your metabolism, your skin elasticity, and just a strong immunity and so forth. And finally, it, it it's needed for proper brain function, uh, memory, cognition, balancing dopamine, serotonin, and other you know, feel-good neurotransmitters. And this is a major problem with cholesterol-lowering statin drugs, and that's why they cause impotence, uh, memory loss, accelerated aging, depression, a lot of other uh, negative side effects. Now, in a minute, I'll show you how you can easily improve your cholesterol levels naturally without the use of these harmful drugs or even a restrictive diet. However, what I'd like to point out is that what matters most is the correct balance in your lipid levels, which is what I want to uh, talk about next, and that's your HDL-LDL ratios. So first, I like to start with your HDL, which stands for high-density lipoprotein. Now, your HDL is considered the good cholesterol because it can help decrease the cholesterol buildup in the walls of your arteries which ends up actually causing the narrower, um, the narrowing of their openings. Now, generally speaking, the higher your HDL, the better. So for example, after giving my mom some specific herbs that I'll tell you about in a minute, I was able to raise her good HDL from 52 milligrams per deciliter to 94 milligrams per deciliter. Now, her cardiologist and I were very happy because sometimes my mom's total cholesterol goes you know, in the borderline high range However, you know, we're okay with that because her good HDL cholesterol is so high and thus very protective. And lastly, I'd like to finish with your LDL, which stands for low density lipoprotein. Now, your LDL is considered the bad cholesterol because the risk of heart disease goes up if you have high levels of LDL. So you want this to be low. And this is basically the opposite of what HDL does. Now remember, your goal is to have healthy cholesterol levels between the range of 150 to 200 uh, milligrams per deciliter. Now, too low is just as bad as too high. And what matters most with your cholesterol numbers is your HDL-LDL ratios. You want your good HDL to be high and the bad LDL to be low. Now, a good way to remember this is the H in HDL for high and the L and LDL for low. So that's it for today, and I hope this video helped uh, and gave you more clarity. Now, if you'd like more information about this topic, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making more just highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can just look and feel young. And if you'd like to discover how my parents lower their cholesterol levels naturally, again, without the use of harmful prescription drugs, or following a strict diet, uh, please visit the link in the description area below. Again, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.